Hello. Hello, and welcome to lesson twenty-seven on the airplane. Yes, in lesson twenty-six, you learned how to use English at the airport. Well, you will also need to use English when you are on the airplane. Yeah. And when you arrive at an airport in another country, for sure there are some things you need to say in English. So watch our lesson today, and you can learn how to use English on the airplane and arriving at an airport. First, on the airplane, watch our first conversation. Michael, I know it's your first time to fly. Are you okay? Oh, yes, yes. You seem、uh, nervous. Are you?、Uh, a little.、Mm. Well, is there anything you need? Um.、Uh, well, may I have something to drink? <laughs> okay, I'll ask the flight attendant for、um, some orange juice. Oh, good. Yes. Okay. Let me see if I can find a flight attendant. Oh,、uh, Miss. Yes. Can I help you?、Uh, yes. Could my friend get、uh, some orange juice, please? Oh, sure. No problem. Thanks. Oh, and don't forget, we'll be taking off soon, so don't forget to put on your seatbelt. Oh,、okay? I put my seatbelt on already.、Uh, oh, Michael. Oh. oh did oh, you?、Uh, Um. I'll... Let me help you here. There. Okay. Okay. Excuse me. Here's your orange juice. Oh, thank you. Yeah, there you go. And would either of you care to look at a magazine or a newspaper? Yes.、Um, a magazine, please. Okay. How about this one? Oh, that's good. Thank you. And you? Um, no, thank you. I, I don't want a magazine or newspaper. But、okay. um, do you have a blanket? Oh, sure. You know, it's a little cool in here with the air conditioning, so a blanket would be nice. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Michael, do you、yes. need a blanket? Oh, no, 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 thank you.、Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh. Thank you very much. Well,、uh, we'll be taking off soon. <laughs> taking off? Yes.、Uh, don't don't worry. But oh, look, we're taking off now. <laughs> now let's take a closer look at some of those new words. Flight attendant, 空服员 Flight attendant. Take off, 起飞 Take off. Seat belt, 安全带 Seat belt. Magazine, 杂志 Magazine. Blanket, 毯子 Blanket. Air conditioning. 冷气 air conditioning. Now it's your turn to join our program. Remember to say the missing words. What are these? These are magazines. And what is this? This is a seat belt. And what is this? This is a blanket. Excuse me, is everything all right here? Oh yes, thank you. And 
What does she do? She's a flight attendant. It's really cool in here. What makes it so cool? It's the air conditioning. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Are you you sleeping? I'm trying to sleep. Well, I'm not. Oh, Michael, you worry too much. Yes, well, I don't like taking off. Yeah, but we took off already. <laughs> now we're just flying along at thirty thousand feet. Thirty thousand feet! It's so high. This is your captain speaking. I hope you are enjoying your flight. We are now flying at twenty-eight thousand six hundred and forty feet. And we expect to land in Singapore at 11:50. The temperature in Singapore is 29 degrees. If you need any help, please ask one of our flight attendants. May I have a blanket, please? Well, yes, of course. H help yourself. I'll just go get another one. <laughs> Do you feel better now? Have we landed yet? Now let's take a closer look at some of those. New words: captain, 机长 captain, feet, 尺 feet, land, 降落 land. Well, as you can see, I don't like flying very much, but other people do, like. Lovely. Let's watch the next conversation, and you'll see what I mean. Wow, we're flying at over thirty-two thousand feet. Excuse me. Would you be interested in buying some duty-free items? Yeah, I wanted to buy some cosmetics. Okay. Um, how much is this one? Well, this one is twenty-three dollars and sixty-five cents. Huh? Oh, that's U.S. dollars. Well, what's that in NT? Well, you have to use the exchange rate of twenty-five point five three. So that would be six hundred and four NT. Wow, that's expensive. What about this one? Well, this one is only seven ninety-five. Huh?、Oh. Don't forget to use the exchange rate of twenty-five point five three. That would be two hundred and three NT. Okay, I'll take this one. Okay. And、um, what about this one? All right. Well, this one. Now let's take a closer look at one of those new words. 
exchange rate, 汇率 exchange rate. And David is going to talk about how to use English when talking about numbers. Well, what's this number? Does it look difficult? Actually, in English, it's quite easy. If you remember to one, two, three, these are hundreds and these are thousands. So this number is forty-six. Thousand three hundred and twenty-seven. Let's try another example. What's this number? Remember, one, two, three. Okay. Now this number is. Eight hundred and seventy-two thousand one hundred and sixty-five. While we're talking about numbers, in that conversation, you also heard us using numbers for American dollars. So, let's check. How do we say this? Well, there are two ways. We can say eight dollars and ninety-five cents, or we could just say eight ninety-five. Let's try another example. How much is this? We can either say four dollars and sixty-five cents, or four sixty-five. Okay, and one more use of numbers. What is this number? Okay, this number is five point three two. Let's try another example. What's this number? Okay, this number is twenty-four point three seven one. Okay, now remember, you've heard three different ways to talk about numbers: big numbers like this, where you use thousands and hundreds. Money, American money, where we use dollars and cents, and numbers like this, where we use the point system. Okay, now it's time for you to join our program, and see if you can use English to talk about numbers. Do your best. Say this number. We say thirty-two 
point three six. And what about this number? Yes, we would say three dollars and eighty-five cents. Or you could say three eighty-five. Well, now let's see how to use English when you arrive at an airport. Watch the next conversation. See. Next. Here I am in another country. May I see your passport, please? Yes. What is the purpose of your visit? Sightseeing. I'm a tourist. Hmm. Do you have a tourist visa? Sure. Here is my tourist visa. Okay. A tourist visa is valid for only four weeks. Do you know this? Yes, I'm only going to stay for three weeks anyway. Okay. Now, I'm stamping your passport to show you cannot stay in this country any longer than four weeks from today. Do you understand? Check the stamp. Thank you. Whew. Next. Now let's take a closer look at some of those new words. Purpose. 原因 Purpose. Tourist. 观光 Tourist, visa, 签证 visa, valid, 期限内 valid, stamp, 盖章 stamp. Now let's watch our next conversation. I have to go through customs. Here you are, ma'am. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you have anything to declare? Hmm. No, nothing. Nothing? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Okay. Wow, that was easy. What? Get back. I think I'd better look in this bag. Uh oh. What? What's this? Two, three, four, five, six, six bottles of perfume. Didn't you know that you are not allowed to bring six? Bottles of perfume into the country. Well, I, I just... didn't you know that. I think you'd better come with me. Oh no! Now let's take a closer look at some of those new words. Customs, 海关 customs. Declare, 报关 Declare. Usually, you would hear anything to declare. Declare. Perfume, 香水 Perfume. In lesson twenty six, you learned the word cosmetics. Perfume is one kind of cosmetics. Perfume. Now 
it's time for you to join our program. Help Michael and Vanessa to say those missing words. This person is a tourist. When you travel to another country, what do you need to get in your passport? A visa. If your visa is okay for four weeks, we say that your visa is valid for four weeks. What am I doing to the passport now? I am stamping the passport. What is this? It's perfume. You better declare the perfume when you go through customs. Okay. Now it's time for our story, A Special Trip. We have no new words, so let's go and see what Mr. and Mrs. Brown are doing now. Well, here we are, <laughs> off to Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, would either of you care to look at a magazine or a newspaper? Oh, yes, a magazine, please. Okay. Here, how about that one? Thank you. And you, sir? Oh, oh, no, thank you. I have my book on Africa. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I wonder if the flight attendant comes from Africa. Well, I think I'll ask her. <laughs> oh, we're taking off now, so don't forget to put on your seatbelt. Oh, um, um, excuse me, um, do you come from Africa? No, no, I don't. <laughs> oh, oh, well, then is this your first time to Africa? I am not going to Africa. <laughs> um, dear, um, I'm sure she's going to get off and change in Hualien. Um, read your book, dear. <laughs> you know, I'm, uh, I'm hot. It's, uh, I'm don't think the air conditioning is is really very good, do you? Um, uh, you, you know, in, in my book it says that in Africa, uh, in the summer, uh -huh. it is 31.5 degrees. Well, uh, I think I'll ask the flight attendant about the air conditioning. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, oh, um, excuse me. Yes? Um, now, about the air conditioning... Oh, not now. We're, we're taking off. Well, well I, I mean, I, I want to know, you know, in Africa, uh, it's very hot, and the air conditioning's not very cool, so will the air conditioning be good enough for Africa? There's always one crazy one on every flight. This is your captain speaking. We are now flying at 29,000 feet 
on our way to Hualien. You know, dear, mm -hmm. we need some blankets. Huh? Well, it's a, a long flight to Africa. Oh, yes. And we'll need to get some sleep. <sighs> yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, excuse me. Yes. Oh, would you like some blanket? Yes. Okay. Oh, there thank you. you. Thank you. Landing? Yes, dear. Oh, but that seems very quick. Oh, well, you slept really well, dear. I did? Yes, you slept for ten hours. Ten hours? Are you sure? Oh, yes, dear. L look at your watch. Well, you're right. <sighs> I did sleep for ten yes, hours. Yes, dear. <sighs> so we're in Africa. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm excited. Africa, here we come! Oh, <laughs> me too, dear. Oh. Now come with me. Hello, dear. Uh, and here he is. Here who is? The man. Uh, this is the man <coughs> who uh, checks the passport? Yes, dear. Are you sure? Yes. Welcome to Hualien. Huh? Oh, oh, oh. <coughs> Welcome to Africa. <laughs> See? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Do you have any passports? Oh, yes, dear. Passports, of course. <laughs> Here you are. <laughs> Uh, do you have visas? Oh. Uh, yes, we have tourist visas. Uh, they're right in here. Oh. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, uh, yes, what is the uh, purpose of your visit? Oh. <laughs> Uh, we're here to see lions. <laughs> lions? <laughs> <laughs> lions and Hualien? <laughs> there are no... <clears throat> there are... There are... Lions? Lions... In Africa! In Africa! Oh, many? Many lions? Yeah. Uh, yes! Many lions, oh. right? Many lions! What about, um, shouldn't he stamp the passport? Oh, yes! What? Oh, yes! You're supposed to stamp our passport, <laughs> right? Oh, yes! I must stamp your passport. <laughs> uh, is, that, is that right, dear? It's Africa, dear. <laughs> right.